This episode is brought to you by Pepsi Wild Cherry. Pepsi Wild Cherry is bursting with delicious cherry flavor and a sweet, crisp taste that gives you more to go wild for. Getting wild may look different these days, but whether it's opting for a solo Friday binge watch or a big night out, everyone can indulge in their wild side with Pepsi Wild Cherry, also available in Zero Sugar. So grab a Pepsi Wild Cherry and get wild. This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for February 6th, 2024. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. Just announced Rob Zombie and Alice Cooper are bringing the Freaks on Parade 2024 tour to the Xfinity Center in Mansfield, Massachusetts with Ministry and Filter on Friday, September 6th. Tickets are on sale now. Killer Mike was arrested after he collected three Grammys on Sunday night. While it was initially unclear what prompted him to be escorted out of the venue in handcuffs, he has now shared a statement saying that he's better than okay. Saying, quote, as you can imagine, there was a lot going on and there was some confusion around which door my team and I should enter. We experienced an overzealous security guard, but my team and I have the utmost confidence that I will ultimately be cleared of all wrongdoing. A member of his team said we hit a speed bump in that Mike was detained and charged with a misdemeanor after collecting his awards. On the way into the venue, there was considerable confusion around where to go. He encountered an overzealous security guard and continued moving towards his destination. The situation was overblown, and we are confident that the facts in the case, when laid out bare, will show that Mike did not commit the alleged offense, and he will be exonerated. 50 artists have been added to the lineup for the Isle of Wight 2024 festival, including Johnny Marr, Suede, and The Pretenders. Set to take place later this summer from June 20th to the 23rd, it was previously announced that it would be headlined by The Prodigy, Pet Shop Boys, and Green Day. Sleep Token have announced they'll embark on their first ever arena tour later this year, following their headline show at Wembley Arena in December, which sold out in under 10 minutes. The band announced they'll be playing five arena shows around the UK in November to a total of around 75,000 fans. You two have shared a new version of their recent single, Atomic City, remixed by David Guetta. They released the single back in September to coincide with the start of their residency at Las Vegas's MSG Sphere. They've been performing their 1991 album, Octung Baby, in full in an ongoing run of shows that will last until March. Guetta has given the song an EDM twist. You can check out the snippet online. Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Alice Cooper is relaunching his long-running radio show. It hit the air last night with a new name and a new syndication partner. It's now called Alice's Attic and will be syndicated via Super Radio. The new shows will air five hours Monday through Thursday with reconfigured shows on the weekends. Local radio stations around the United States and Australia have already started airing the show with additional stations there as well as Canada and the UK expected to sign on shortly. Marilyn Manson, who was sentenced to community service for blowing his nose on a videographer in 2019 at a concert in New Hampshire, recently completed his time at an organization that provides meeting space for Alcoholics Anonymous and Al-Anon. He spent 20 hours last month at the Windsor Club of Glendale, a California nonprofit that provides meeting locations for Alcoholics Anonymous and families of alcoholics to achieve, quote, a more meaningful life through recovery. Frank Bello from Anthrax has given us an update on the follow-up to 2016's For All Kings. The band has been in the studio for a while, saying that the band is experimenting with their sound to be, quote, heavier than ever. In a new interview with Rolling Stone magazine, Slayer guitarist Kerry King was asked if he'd spoken to the band's original drummer, Dave Lombardo, who has been out of Slayer for more than a decade. He responded, quote, no, Lombardo is dead to me. Dave went on a tirade when we were on a flight to Australia and he knew we couldn't retort for 14 hours. And he threw me under the bus. 
I was the only one keeping him in the band. Tom Araya wanted him out before that, and Jeff Hanneman had just gotten the spider bite, causing him to contract the flesh-eating bacteria, saying, quote, we need Dave, the fans won't get it if we replace him right now. And then the Australia thing came up, he threw me under the bus, and I'm like, the guy that kept you here? So I thought, fuck that guy. Lindsey Buckingham remains disappointed in the way that he was dismissed from Fleetwood Mac, but he's holding out hope that he and the band could tour together one last time. During a recent interview with Conan O'Brien for Sirius XM, he detailed the way things played out, saying, quote, without pointing any fingers, it was certainly fairly singular in how it was driven. Others in the band were not happy with what was going on at that point, and I think everybody would have liked to see me remain. But they did what they felt they had to do in that moment. And now that's understandable. There's no fingers to point at anyone, really. That's rock and roll, right? Taylor Swift has revealed the 17-song track list for her new album, The Tortured Poets Department, featuring collaborations with Florence and the Machine and Post Malone, as well as tracks with titles like My Boy Only Breaks His Favorite Toys, So Long London, and I Can Fix Him, No, I Really Can, and The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived. Taylor Swift announced on stage at the 2024 Grammys that the Tortured Poets Department is set for release on April 19th. And The Grateful Dead have now broken the record for the most top 40 albums in history, Thanks to the latest release from their live back catalog series, Dave's Picks, Volume 49, which debuted at number 25 on the Billboard 200 this week. The album consists of two complete shows that the Dead played at Stanford University in April in 1985. It's now become the 59th album the band has placed on the top 40, beating the previous record holders Elvis Presley and Frank Sinatra. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all the stories, check the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 191 featuring Brian Head Welch from Corn, is available now. To celebrate joining Pantheon Podcasts, Rock Camp, the podcast, the official podcast of Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp, is giving away a guitar signed by Mike Portnoy of Dream Theater, Marty Friedman, formerly of Megadeth, and legendary shredder Zach Wilde, plus our rock star counselors like Vinnie Apice, Monty Pittman, and more. To enter to win, simply follow, rate, and review our podcast on your preferred platform, and that's all you have to do. For more information, go to rockcamp.com forward slash podcast.